What's going on everybody, Trivelson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch. Today, we're going to be talking about the brand new release from Doc Swinson's. It's the Alter Ego Cask Strength. That's right, baby. Alter Ego is finally upping its proof. So, some of you may or may not have tried the regular on-the-shelf edition of the Doc Swenson's Alter Ego. I don't know if they're in all the states yet. I know it's kind of hit or miss, but it is a regular, available, on-the-shelf bourbon in a lot of places, here included. But that release is not cask strength. So what they decided to do is up the ante, cask strength, baby. Now this is a limited edition, so I don't know how limited it is. It was fairly easy for me just to go and it was on the shelf, but I don't think they're going to continue to do this. I, I hope they do. I hope they continue to make this. But as for this release, uh, limited edition. So if you're one of those people who either A, you don't know what Alter Ego is, or you've passed on it, you don't know what it is, let's go to the back of the bottle. It explains everything perfectly, what to expect. An extraordinary mingling, we love to mingle, of bourbon finished in three types of European casks, Oloroso Sherry, Pedro Jimenez Sherry, and Cognac. And like I said, normally, it's bottled in the mid-90s, however, this higher proof release really emphasizes the boldness of the finishing casks, a treat normally only Doc's master blender gets to experience. Well, guess what? He's treating us now. Distilled in Indiana, meticulously blended and bottled by Distillers Way LLC, Friendale, Washington. So, this is MGP, they send it on over to them, they do all the blending, and BAM! Delicious. Also, right there at the bottom of the bottle, like, come on, people. Non-chill filtered to preserve full flavor. Come on. Coming in at 57.3% alcohol. That uh, comes with this cool little neck tag. We love marketing. And it goes on, this is important too, a blend of two bourbons aged for a minimum of five years. So we're, we're working with five year plus bourbon, finished in cognac, Oloroso Sherry, and Pedro Jimenez Sherry casks for an additional year. So that's a long time of finishing. I don't think it's a year each. I think in a year time frame, it's going into both Sherry casks and the cognac. Each cask is hand-selected for balance and married together in large oak vats called fooders. I had to look that up. I had no idea what the heck that was or how to say it. It's a huge oak barrel. Like, it said something three times as large as an oak barrel up to 300 times the size of an oak barrel. Crazy stuff. This harmonious whiskey exudes Notes of stone fruits, oak, vanilla, roasted nuts, and citrus peel. Well, shoot, say no more. Let's get right into this sucker. I'm super excited because I love Alter Ego. I think it's amazing. It's one of my favorite finished whiskeys. It also made one of my favorite whiskeys for the summertime. I think it's really good for that. And now we get cask strength, so. Let's get right into it. That is how you finish a bourbon. Holy crap! That is insane how intense of this vanilla sweetness mixed with fruitiness. And it's just a, they said it best, 
harmoniously jumps out of the glass. It just blended together perfectly. Very spicy. I, man, that the proof really, I, I wouldn't even say it helps it. I, cause I love the alter ego, but it just ramps this up. It, it's a step up. Okay. This is friggin' good. You're getting a lot of fresh fruit, like a raspberry, strawberry notes, but you're also getting super dark cherry. You're getting maybe almost like dark grape plum notes on it too. It's, it's crazy. It's just kind of all of these things together. I do get this citrus note aspect too, kind of like with the, the vanilla, it's very bright. And I think a lot of that comes from this orange peel note that comes through, which I get on a lot of MGP stuff. And this being MGP, I'm getting that. I'm getting the MGP character to it, but with added sweeter, fruitier notes that's coming from the finishing. All right, let's taste it. That's a friggin' home run. Doc Swenson's you killed this one. This is amazing. This is it, this is literally what I would expect a finished bourbon to be. I hate to keep saying the words that they're using, okay? What do they say? Harmonious! It's literally the sherry, the cognac, and you can't forget the base layer whiskey. It's all three of them. You get that MGP goodness. It's a five, at least five-year-old MGP bourbon. And you know, those are amazing. Super bright, fresh, citrus, heavy vanillas. Love them. This maintains that identity. But then it spreads this awesome layer of those sherry casks. So you're getting a lot of this fruitiness, fresh fruit, Oh, like I wouldn't even say dark fruits. I like you can pick out almost a raspberry, you know, jelly jam spread. It's amazing. And then you get this darker, which I imagine is coming from the cognac cask. This darker, almost just dark fruit, plum, grape, almost a tobacco quality to it. And it's each individual thing has its own identity. You can pick them apart in a way. I think that is the sign of blending something the correct way, especially with these multiple different finishes. You can't let one thing overpower the other. And I think that's what I love about this. A lot of times I think some people can take a subpar whiskey um, and, and blend it or finish it to hide blemishes, to hide things, and then they can charge a premium for it. Or they can finish it in something and you can't even tell that it's finished at all, or they can finish it in something and it literally just tastes like the finished barrel. It, it'll just taste like rotten, sour grapes. This one just does it so right to me to where it still shows the base MGP, whiskey that we love and it also showcases each of those casks it shows you the sherry it shows you the cognac and it shows you what happens when you put them all together and i opened this today i mean i was just so excited about this i opened it today and uh the first pour out of this i was in love with it so i was like i gotta shoot a video this is amazing i'm just super impressed with these guys honestly um if you love finished whiskey, I mean, I love a good finished whiskey. I think a lot of people do it wrong. This is done right. And you know, who knows, maybe with it being the limited release, they really did try and put together something special. They did. It's good. This bottle cost $80, like $79.99. And honestly, as an alter ego lover, that was totally worth it to me. I was so excited to get that at cask strength. Um, but even just for what it is, a cask strength MGP whiskey that's finished. And you know, because that's a lot of work doing all of that, putting it in this barrel and that barrel and that barrel, and then whatever they gotta do, blending them together, it's a lot of work. And when you do it right, you know, that's even more work. And I think the price is fair. It's delicious, so I'm cool with it. 
If you are a finished whiskey lover, I think you should give this one a chance. I think you'll really enjoy it. I think it's a solid, I think it's solid. I think all around, blended together perfectly, it showcases all of the finishings and the way you would want them to be. Again, don't really know the reach of this bottle. Uh, you know, they have these little maps, they put out the exploratory casts um, in certain states. And then this bottle is supposed to hit every state that gets Doc Swenson's. I don't know which states get them. There's quite a few states that do. I imagine there's quite a few states who don't. So there we have it, guys. My review on the Doc Swenson's Alter Ego. You guys killed it. You guys killed this one. I love this bottle. Um, I'm sure someone out there is going to get this and hate it. Or someone will do a review and say this sucks. Ha! <laughs> I don't care. My palette's my palette, and I love this. Remember, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like, subscribe, bell notification, all that fancy stuff. If you want to support me more, check out the Patreon page. We've got tons of exclusive barrel picks coming. We have exclusive merch over there, exclusive live streams. Go ahead, check it out. It's free to look at. And until next time, guys, I'm Trev Wilson. I'll see you in the next video.